Hi guys. So, this is problem 27 from chapter 4. And I believe it's a section, yes, it's a section on node voltage circuit analysis. Um, so, first thing I need to do is find the sheet of paper with the answer. So, we have a 15 volt independent voltage source in parallel with a 33 ohm resistor. We have a 10 ohm resistor there, a 2 ohm resistor there. The voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor is called V delta. And we have a dependent voltage source with a value of 5 times V delta. And we have a 2 ohm resistor here, which is connected in parallel with V out. Oh, not <laughs> connected in parallel with a 40 ohm resistor. And the voltage drop across the 40 ohm resistor is what we're looking for, and that is V out. So the hard we, we want to, so the problem wants us to find the voltage drop across that 40 ohm resistor V out using the node voltage method, and the five. So th this is a very tricky one to set up because what is the voltage at each of the nodes? First, let's identify the nodes. Um, so what are what is a node? A node is basically where um, circuit elements meet. So we have a node here, we have a node here, and we have a node here. We have three nodes, but this node really isn't going to help us at all. In fact, it's just going to complicate things because if we write KCL here, we, we can solve this problem. Um, so basically, we'll have this current, this current, and we know the, node, the voltage drop here is going to be 15. We know that for a fact. And, but we have to introduce a third variable, so we'll need three. We, are, we end up, end, end up um, creating a need to create a third equation to find that current. And the problem is to find this voltage, so we're better off not writing that no voltage equation at all. Unless we were interested in what's the current going through the independent voltage source. But since we're not interested in that, and by the way, if we were interested in that and you ended up solving it, you just ended up solving one extra thing. But I'm lazy, so I'm only going to solve for these two, do the minimum work required by this problem. And so I'm just going to write a node equation here, a node equation here, and that will give me, um, when I first thought, thought about this, I thought, okay, well, I'll end up with two equations, two unknowns, but it ends up that I ended up with a one equation, one unknown. So, um, and, but... Anyways, if I had two equations, I would have still have two unknowns, and I would still be able to solve it. So, I'm going to show you how I did it. This node equation here is quite straightforward. So, they tell us that this node here has value, V delta. So, let's write it. So, node, the node equation here, which is the sum of the currents away from the node, must be zero. That's going to be V delta minus this node. Well, if you stick a voltmeter from here to here, what are you going to see? You're going to see the 15 is connected in parallel with a fifth, an independent 15 voltage source, so this must be 15. So you have V delta minus 15 over 10 plus V delta over 2 plus V delta. Okay, so here's the hard one. So this noble equation is this part over here, from here to here. What is that? Well, here, what's the voltage here? We, um, oh, actually, there's nothing to divide by, so you have a super node. So, that means we go right to the next node, right here, and we write that noble equation. So, there's nothing to divide here, so obviously, we would, if we, what resistance would we divide by? So, we simply skip over here and write the noble equation starting here. So, but what is the voltage drop here? Well, it's V out. And if you had solved that as V out, um, you would still work out the problem. But if you happen to notice that V out, or this node right here, is going to be the sum of these two, then you'll end up with one equation and one unknown. The question is, though, is it V delta plus V5 V delta? Um, it seems like it because the plus is there, right? But in fact, think about it. You're traveling from here to here, right? What's happening? You're going from plus voltage to minus voltage. So, 
So first you have positive potential and then you have negative potential. So your potential went down, it decreased. So the value of the voltage at that node must be 5 minus 5 V delta. And the reason is, is because you're decreasing in potential. You went from positive voltage to negative voltage. Your potential went down. So that is expressed in your equation as minus. So 5 minus 5V delta over 20. These are in parallel. The 40 and the 20 are in parallel. And of course, parallel connected resistors must have, or parallel connected circuit elements have the same voltage drop. So therefore, this is also, V out is also 5, um, excuse me, not 5, but um, V delta, that should have been V delta, minus uh, 5 V delta over 40. All of that has to equal 0. So as you can see, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that this was just one equation and one unknown. So this is easy to solve for V delta. Um, as a requirement of electrical engineering, you for sure need to know algebra. So I'm going to assume my audience knows algebra and knows how to solve one equation and one unknown. Um, if you don't know algebra at this point, I would strongly suggest that you take algebra and pause your electrical engineering studies for now. So solve that and you should find that V delta, V delta is 5 volts, and V out, which is, by the way, V delta minus 5 V delta is negative 20 volts. So, and that was what we were looking for. And that is the answer to this question. So things that, our takeaway right here is to know that when you have, when you take the difference between the two and then there is no resistor involved, there's just voltages, you have a super node. So you just skip it to the very next one. So the very next node, the key takeaway is, is it, is it plus or is it minus? I don't know what to do. So what you do is you look at the V delta here and, um, you look at what's happening with the voltage potential. So with respect to this point here, when I'm looking from this point here, my voltage is going to be V delta, and I, had, I went down in voltage potential, so it's V delta minus 5 V delta. I thought that was hard, the hard part, or the tricky part of the problem. Okay, good luck, and remember to share the video if it helped you and to like the Facebook.